so so let's uh, come to order. So so anyway, um, Charlie uh, Charlie had me lined up for the program, even though he, he he's getting forgetful in his retired age. Um, and then he, he says, well, the president and the vice president aren't going to be here, so Bill, can you just handle everything? And it's like, sure, whatever. Um, so um, let's start with a round of introductions, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get down to business. We'll try to get everybody out of here before, uh, I'd say before 5.30, but we'll see how we go. Um, I'm Bill Caldwell, in 0 L and O. And my partner in crime is back there standing up, wave. That's Elizabeth Inzura, UTP. I guess she could introduce herself. She does have a call. But anyway. Uh, Christopher Caldwell, uh, Yon Fair Treasurer. If there's any complaints, feel free to throw me an email at christopher.caldwell.com. Um, or if there's any other questions, like you know people not getting emails, do an email list. Uh, George Cooley, NG78. Ken Warren, 84 OS. Vince, N2 AIE. Tom, KB0 ATF. Dave, WA9 HBC. Rod, KB0 PA. Henry, KB0 DOT. Larry, K9 HHK. Another Larry, K0 MTM. Gary, K0 GT. Arlen, K0 AEB. Mike, KC0 XXX. Bob, KW0 Walton. <coughs> Joe, WB0 IFL. Steve, NA0 IFL. Mary, WA0 FBH. Al, <coughs> KA0 IES. All right. Thanks, everybody, for showing up on really such a beautiful day. I'm surprised. Um, so we did introductions. Old business, treasurer's report. Um, our treasurer's report, our current amount, minus what I'm collecting now, is $6,789.44. And that includes a deposit from the company, right? Yeah, but I think we, we got a check from the company. Yeah. And you deposited it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> I know. I know. We were, we were kind of surprised to get anything, so we were really overjoyed. Um, so a, a couple of charts here talking about uh, the stations. Um, let's, let's, uh, before you go on, Elizabeth, let's just run through this because there aren't any charts about it. Um, on the new business side, um, now the stations part will be coming up. The uh, junk in the trunk uh, on May 11th, and it's going to be in that parking lot over there that you probably parked at to come here. Um, we got the Dayton Hamvention the following week uh, in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, field day, 22nd and 23rd of June. Uh, if you're VHFers, I believe the second weekend in June is the uh, AWRL VHF uh, contest. Um, and our next meeting is July uh, 16th, 2019. Watch your email announcement very carefully. It dawned on me that as of this week, all three employed officers of this club work in main plant. So we're going to try to get ourselves into the main plant cafeteria. However, it's harder to reserve than this one. And I just haven't talked to the right people yet. But that's our plan, is to, is to go back to main plant. And it's a nice high-tech cafeteria now. And I think it's got a nice environment. It, it, we don't have machinery that's real loud in there like we used to. Um, and then we'll have the program. So next, next slide. Um, here's who we are. Uh, Greg Land isn't here. He was supposed to be here and have another one of these lash-ups here. Um, but uh, note that Greg uh, is, is our new programs director and our, our uh, 
activities manager. Uh, we could still use the station manager for the North Station. Um, Y'all ought to be thinking. Um, we could probably use, you know, some replacement officers and, they, you know, maybe actually have competition for an election. That'd be really exciting. We haven't had competition for a long time. In fact, I remember when Coel and I ran against each other and I think I lost. Uh, to make a nomination of Bill B. President. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, in October. So we'll be, you know, October. But be thinking about that. Uh, we're trying to set the bar pretty low, so it, you know you can do better than us pretty easily. Um, Elizabeth, next chart. Um, oh, here comes Greg and Al. Yeah. Yep, and he did. It looks like he might have. No, he didn't bring a power supply. We agreed we weren't bringing power supplies. Um, work to be done in the North Shack is to integrate the 160 watt amp for two meters uh, with the K3 and just to do some, some general cleanup there. Um, Al, do you want to introduce yourself? Oh, Alan, WB0OAV. And, and Greg, you want to introduce yourself? Greg, KC0SM. All right. All right. Hey, Rod, you want to introduce yourself? All right. So if, if you're looking for, for stuff to do, does anybody want to go help with any of that? Yeah, George, you want to help? Yeah. All right. We will get you fixed up. Um, but we'd be looking for somebody in the North Campus to really become a station manager. That'd be really useful. What's involved with that? Um, as much as you want to be or as little as you want. I've been a station manager down at Main Plant. Um, there were two of us at that time. And um, we chose to work on things. And so we'd go in for an hour and a half a week and we, we fixed things that was broken. And uh, it was a lot of fun. I learned a lot. Uh, you know, we were working on some really old gear, it was a hoot. But, you know, I think walking in and making sure things are neat and making sure things work. Um, you know, maybe making a contact once in a while, that'd be good. Yeah, J Jason Marshall and I are the only two who seem to have been in there making contacts for the last three or four months, so we kind of were talking about that. And, uh... um, why don't you take down a couple of names? <laughs> and. And the other, the other thing is, I, I've made sure of this, it's not an elected position. <laughs> so that means it's like forever? Or Who said that? Forever? Yeah. Until the no. next person volunteers. Shut. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this, in amateur radio, payback is big. If you elect someone to a position without them being at the meeting, they will give you back. All right. Next chart. Um, down in the south station, uh, we're still working at getting the satellite station fully integrated. Um, evidently, I can't believe this, but evidently there are some existing control wiring uh, that, 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 that part the documentation is weak. And I, I really have a hard time believing that because Mike Heenig did such a wonderful job with that. So Dave, do you have a comment on documentation or? Well, when I saw that Mike had generated it looked pretty nice. It's, but Mike is the one that put the item on the list, so I'm, I'm not going to doubt him. Um, and he's just wanting to maybe update some of the documentation, just, just some general documentation work because Maybe when you start looking at it, it, it does look a little scary, but it's really not. It's really, it's really a nice setup. Um, got a lightning arrestor t uh, for the uh, step IR vertical, and I don't know where we hook that up, if it's on the ground or on the tower. I don't know where we do that. And then um, we need somebody who wants to work on a 51J4. Um, so, I think that's the last slide. Boy, that's right. that was an echo. Um, you guys got any 
comments, questions? Yeah. Yeah, I had a couple of things, as I mentioned, about the, the North Station. One is that I got really tired of trying to set the clock on, on the flex radio uh, to, uh, to do FT8. So I bought a $10 Wi-Fi adapter that I can connect to my phone to set the clock automatically when, I, when I'm there. I figured I'd just leave it plugged into the, the computer unless somebody had a profound objection to, to having that, that Wi-Fi connection available. Uh, do you have a receipt for that? Uh, well, yeah, I ordered her from Amazon, so I can certainly do that. I, I don't mind contributing to it. I would just say, I mean, there is money for this, by the way. Yeah, but on, on one hand, we like, we like to approve our purchases before we spend the money, uh, on one hand. That's usually a best practice, but anyway, we can talk. Well, like I say, I, I, I bought it for my own convenience, thinking I'd just unplug it every time, but then I thought, why, why bother if, you know, if nobody minds it being in there, it's available for whoever wants. Yeah, okay. Uh, and the, the other question I had, so the, to my knowledge, the Whisper station there has not been working for several months, I assume we took that down because it's not strictly legal to run it unattended, or no, it's fine. Um. I, I, I thought I'd think all of those were well. The, the only thing that has to the whisper station, basically the Tigertronics thing and the radio, if the radio shut off. What's going on? What everything should be there running. Well, the radio has been turned off from time to time. I turned it back on, and that wasn't enough to get it going. I kind of checked to. See see if the the computer was was running it seemed to be but maybe its clock isn't set right well yeah you have to have for everything to work perfectly you gotta have the pc and it has to be set to time and, and everything like that i checked it a month ago and it seemed to be working or a month and a half ago i checked and oh, thought okay. on the web but i could check it right now and i build it if you know it's not on i can uh, Yeah, my, my problem is I don't feel real comfortable climbing on the ladder.